Welcome back, everyone. Happy Thursday morning to you. I'm Dale Cedars in the 24-7 Weather Center. Some of us saw just a little bit rain last night. Most of us, however, unfortunately did not. As we take a look at our satellite and radar, this starts about 12 hours ago. You'll see it as we put it into motion. Just kind of a few rain showers popping up here and there. They were definitely isolated, mostly just a little bit of cloud coverage. And with it also, we got those gusty winds. This morning, though, you'll see we're waking up to some partly cloudy skies. Just depending upon where you are farther north, you're going to have some more clouds. Down south, it looks like you're going to be just a little bit clearer this morning. However, those clouds are definitely going to start to build around lunchtime today. Right now, though, our temperature is pretty mild as you're heading out the door. 56 here in Denver, 48 in Greeley, 52 in Brighton, 54 in Fort Collins. And Boulder, you're actually starting off pretty warm, around 64 degrees. Some of those temperatures are going to drop just a little bit as we get the sun to rise, but then we'll warm up pretty quickly. Take a look. By 10 o'clock, 72 degrees. By lunchtime, 78. This, though, is when you're going to really start noticing those clouds beginning to build. And this afternoon, we're going to be mostly cloudy skies. We do have a slight chance for some afternoon storms, but again, these storms are mostly going to bring those gusty winds with the storms rather than the actual rainfall, which of course is what we need. And as a result, we're going to see that we have a high fire danger right now. We've got it here actually on the western slope. We've got low relative humidities, but this fire danger pretty much encompasses the entire state, although this area right now is currently under a watch. Let's take a look at our future cast and show you when possibly you could see some of these storms starting to build. You'll notice the clouds by around 12:15 this afternoon. Just a few pockets of showers. It's going to be very isolated if anyone gets any rain. By 1:45, you'll see it a little closer into Denver. Again, this is a very, very slight chance of actually any moisture. We're mostly just going to be dealing with clouds and those wind gusts. Those are going to stick with us this afternoon. But other than that, it's going to be another hot day. 83 here in Denver, 85 in Greeley, 84 in Fort Collins. The mountains are going to be a little closer to your 70s and even your 60s. 82 in Boulder, 80 in Parker, as well as Littleton or backwards, vice versa. 82 in Bennett and Aurora. Now take a look at our seven-day planner. Tomorrow, how about 86 degrees? That is going to be just a very nice warm day. Barely, we're not looking at any chances of afternoon storms. The evenings, the mountains could see a little bit of rain showers. And then Saturday, that's where you're going to notice a change. We actually have a cold front that's pushing through. It's going to drop our temperatures down quite a bit. We're going to see us in in the upper 60s, maybe even the low 70s, that's really where we're going to have our better chance of any rain showers is going to be on Saturday. Sunday, we do have a slight chance of some showers, although that's going to mostly be um, just a little bit warmer, but their better rain chance is on Saturday. Well, right now it is time for our Like, Watch, and Win contest. And all this month, 7 News is once again giving you a chance to win some great prizes to help you and your family. Today, we're giving away a $250 gift card to King Supers. To enter, just go to the DenverChannel.com, look for a link to our Facebook page. We're going to pick the winner tonight on 7 News at 10.